Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. I'm Barry Krieger. And I'm Ashley Afonso. A West Springfield business said they've received hundreds and hundreds of phone calls, but not from their customers. 22 News reporter Haley Crumblehone found out they were victims of spoofing. They received as many as 300 calls over the course of one hour from people claiming they had a missed call from their number. With five phone lines and only two people in the office to pick up, Patel Tease Insurance was inundated with hundreds of phone calls from people claiming the business had been calling them. Between two and 300. We, there was no way we could answer them all. It was clear that the phone number had been spoofed. Most of the calls were coming from the 413 area code. It could be neighbor spoofing, where schemers alter caller ID to show a local number so people are more likely to answer. And sometimes getting tricked into sharing personal information by using a number of what appears to be an insurance agency or a bank. Every single person said the same thing. Why did I get a missed call? Why'd you call me? Dunsmore filed complaints with the FTC, the FCC, and their phone company. They were told international schemers had likely spoofed the company's phone number. If you've received these calls, Patel Tease Insurance said it's not them. Feel bad for people getting phone calls because we're not doing anything. We haven't hired a marketing firm. We haven't done anything. You're getting phone calls from somebody that wants to get your information. If you get a call from a local company but can't tell if it's legitimate, just hang up and dial the business directly to make sure. The company said after their calls to the FCC and the phone company, the number of phone calls did decrease. But they said if the problem continues, they'll file a report with the police department. In West Springfield, Haley Crumble Home, 22 News.